Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper. Uh, today, we are out in the lovely, beautiful Texas Hill Country with uh, a Home Depot bucket. And within this Home Depot bucket is contained one very large and very angry Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. So as they say at Home Depot, uh, let's do this. My life is a bit of a mess, but I like it that way. Between juggling school, work, dozens of animals, and a constant drive to explore, things can get pretty hectic. But one thing always stays the same. A burning passion for wildlife and a desire to preserve the biodiversity of our world through public education, conservation, and animal care. My name is Daniel Carter, and you're watching Afro Herb Keeper. So as you may be able to hear, within this bucket we have one very angry Crotalus atrox, western diamondback rattlesnake. We're going to remove our protective pillowcase, and as you can see, uh, we've got a good sized snake in here. Check that out. So our snake is out of the bucket now. Uh, a good rule for pit vipers like this is that they can strike about half of their body length, as this is a snake that's maybe three and a half feet long. Uh, I am at a very safe distance here. You can see by his behavior that he actually wants nothing to do with me. Rather than running towards me, trying to strike, uh, trying to attack, he is attempting to flee. So the important distinction needs to be made that a rattlesnake does not act aggressive. It acts in defense of itself. Uh, he is running away. Oh man, check that out. Look at that posture. That is the most beautiful snake. So I only want to torment this animal for a uh, minimal amount of time, so let's just talk about it. This particular rattlesnake was removed from underneath a house in uh, Jonestown, Texas. I crawled under there into the crawl space to actually fish him back out, because obviously if you're a homeowner you do not want a uh, large rattlesnake under your house. It was really aggravating the guy's dog, and for obvious reasons, dogs and rattlesnakes don't mix. So thankfully for this particular animal, uh, the homeowner in question, rather than running for the shovel or the shotgun, he was patient, he called me, and I was able to get out there and remove the snake in a safe and humane manner. Interestingly enough, the Western Diamondback is a rattlesnake with a very specific home range. And when removed from their territories, they can actually end up wasting away and dying, wandering around trying to figure out where they're supposed to go. So we are actually less than a mile from the site of initial capture, which is generally accepted as uh, close enough to their original territory that they'll do perfectly fine. As you can see and hear, I've really pissed this guy off, but it's not unwarranted. You will notice that for all the rattling and putting on a show he's doing, he hasn't struck once. It is acting entirely in defense of itself. It's not trying to attack. Um, this can't be said for every single snake out there, but for the most part, I can hear a few southern commenters shaking their heads already. Um, the rattlesnake is a very peaceful, pacifistic animal. As it has been said many times in the past, a rattlesnake's motto is, don't tread on me. If you don't tread on this animal, if you don't go out of your way to attack or threaten it, then it's not going to be any issue to you. You don't bother it, it doesn't bother you. And so my advice to anybody who comes across a rattlesnake in the wild or on their property, uh, if you can, just step back, walk away, and leave the snake alone. If you do those very easy things, the snake is going to leave you alone, it's going to be on its merry way, and it's going to go about its job. And what is the job of a rattlesnake? While it may not seem like the most useful animal to have around, a rattlesnake has a very vital role in each ecosystem that it inhabits. A rattlesnake's job, per se, is to take care of rodent populations. Rats, mice, voles, all of those things that get in your food and are a pest to us humans, the rattlesnake eats. And in doing so, it also stops the spread of deadly Lyme disease and other rodent-borne uh, illnesses, pathogens, all those things. In addition to this, the venom of a whole host of species, including the western diamondback rattlesnake, 
is used in anti-venin production, in uh, breast cancer research, among other things, Alzheimer's research. We are still unlocking the, uh, the mysteries and the incredible power that snake venom actually has. So as a general rule, rattlesnakes are nocturnal creatures. Uh, you're not normally going to see them out in the middle of an open field, in the middle of the day like this. That is kind of the opposite of their thing. Alright, so for all my effort in trying to pick up this snake, uh, he really does not want to be picked back up and he's already uh, getting into a nice covered area, so we're going to let him do his own thing, stop bothering him, and let him be on his way. So if you enjoyed this video, can you, can you quiet it down for a second? Thank you. So if you enjoyed this video, and you enjoyed learning about one of Texas' most iconic, beautiful species, uh, please feel free to let me know by hitting the like button. If you have any questions about rattlesnakes, about other venomous snakes, about any other animals, reptiles, amphibians, uh, feel free to drop those in the comment section. If you'd like to see more content with cool animals like this, please feel free to hit subscribe. Uh, and if you're already subscribed, and you haven't already, feel free to hit the little bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Uh, my name is Daniel Carter. Stop killing snakes, and thank you very much for watching. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Have a good life.